Okay, so here we are. Um, people wanted to know how is it that I record my videos and whatever. So to start off, I record using Fraps. Oh, whoops! I opened up the wrong thing. Um, anyway, I record using Fraps, which is this right here, and this is probably getting this recording that I'm doing right now I'll probably have some bad frames because of the fact that I'm rendering one of the uh, videos that I will be putting up on YouTube shortly. So I use Fraps to record and my settings are I just have the frames laid out in the corner so I always know if I'm lagging like the video is lagging. I always have it at 30 second, 30 frames per second at full size and I use the F6 key because on my keyboard that's the play button and pause button. So you know what, just to start recording I press F6, stop it, F6 again obviously. <clears throat> and use microphone output I just have it on all the time and I save my um, recordings to here the folder on my desktop named recordings that I have and so that's that um, and then in order to put them all together okay you're gonna start recording and depending on whether you're recording 1080p 720p whatever resolution there's gonna be the sizes of your videos are gonna be humongous like you can see this right here this is only three minutes and it's four gigs like that's ridiculous font size that's basically because fraps if I'm sure if I'm certain it does not um, it doesn't what's the word I'm looking for it doesn't compress it doesn't compress the um, video file at all as it's recording it just it just records it doesn't it just yeah so um, yeah so I go ahead I see my recordings make sure they're here and then what I'll do I'll come into After Effects once I'm done recording <clears throat> I'll hit composition well it's blacked out right now but I'll hit new composition obviously and yeah but I'll hit new composition and there's gonna be a bar down here at the bottom when that bar pops up you want to go ahead up here right click and it's not letting me do that either <sighs> okay I'm probably gonna have to wait probably gonna have to wait until this is done recording so until then yeah bye okay I am back and um yeah so basically what I was saying before use After Effects <laughs> to stitch the videos together after it is done recording after I'm done recording and what I do I go to composition new composition this is actually going to be like a completely new video that I'm going to be putting together right now I finished and I renamed the comp um, I guess uh, the fountain of immortality which is five I think and you have all this stuff I have my frame rates at 30 I don't know about you yours might be different recording based on what you uh, had for <coughs> for your video and so what you're gonna do after that you're gonna right click in this box right here import file I usually just hold control and I select the ones then I'm going to go ahead and record with which will be one, two, three, four, five. which will be that one, that one, that one, that one, maybe that one Let's see that's three minutes, two minutes, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, so that's three, six, nine 12 or 11 14 I think I'll take that one off and now well then there you go I'll go ahead click open now and then with those four videos that just dropped in I go ahead click and hold drag them into here and boom that's if it loads up okay and I'll just go ahead I'll move them how they need to be moved uh, 
do, 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 do. I'll go ahead and click as close as possible in between them. Now I'm going to use this little diode right down here. And I'll click and drag it all the way over here. In the middle again, zoom in some more. Then I'll zoom out again. Go over here. Rinse and repeat. And go ahead, zoom in again. It's already there, I actually got that for you. And alright, so go ahead, got our videos set up. Just gonna go ahead and press play to preview it, make sure that it's synced up, it's looking good, it's not all messed up. Hmm. And yeah, you get the point. So go ahead and do that. This I can close since I already finished. And go ahead, rinse and repeat again with all of these. Um, but for now, I'll just go ahead and go like this, just to make sure you know it looks like it's together in the same area. Yep. Okay, once I've done that, I'll go over here, hold that yellow tab, and drag it over, and right-click this, and click Trim Comp to Work Area. That's going to decrease the length of, and Camtasia recorder is using that one. Yes. Um, that's going to go ahead and clear up some space left behind from the composition length. Go ahead, do it again, and yeah. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hit hold, hit and hold shift, and I'm going to click. Um, sorry, it's kids. They, yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead. Hold, while holding shift, you have to make sure you hit holding shift still. So. Technically, that your computer's performance is so yeah I know that you're gonna hit, go over preferences click general still holding shift and once it opens you're gonna let go of shift and you're gonna notice this tab right here you're gonna hit it you want to make sure disable layer cache is on ignore sequences is on and purge every two frames every two it's gonna be zero by default but you want to make sure it's at two after that you're gonna hit OK and once you're done recording everything once you're done setting everything up you're gonna go up here to composition you can click it you're gonna hit add to render queue and this we can go ahead and get rid of and you're gonna click best settings you're gonna make sure this is all correct size 920 by 1080 resolution full for you wanna make sure you use the comps frame rate which will be the frame rate of your video or whatever and oh yeah, another thing you wanna you wanna make it or computer well, yelling at me. You wanna click this right here and make it uh, where is it? You wanna make it 16 bits per channel. That'll make it faster as well. You're gonna come right here. You're gonna hit lossless, and you're gonna click this, and you're gonna put. H.264. That is the standard format for HD videos and stuff. I'm gonna click Include Source XMP Metadata, 
and you want to make this is crucial make sure you hit audio input output because if not then your video won't have any audio and that would just suck obviously and so it's going to go ahead it's going to do all that output to you're going to click output to you're going to pick your area i have it on my desktop where the recordings folder was and then after that you're going to click render after you click render it's going to do its thing it's going to start finishing up and once it's done you can go ahead come up in here you can check it out make sure it works i'll open it real quick with this let's see let's see how it is Okay, we're back. Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead, do that, make sure it's all good. You'll go to your YouTube, and I don't know what that is. I just clicked. You'll go to your YouTube. Select files from your computer, and yeah, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. It's pretty much it's pretty much self-explanatory. You're just gonna go ahead. You're gonna click it, you're gonna hit open, and it's gonna start doing its thing. It's gonna start uploading, and yeah, and that's it. That is how I do my YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped. And peace out.